This is Surety Ship, Sections 179 to 180. Section 179. The surety is entitled to the payment of the premium as soon as the contract of surety ship or bond is perfected and delivered to the obligor. No contract of surety ship or bonding shall be valid and binding unless and until the premium therefore has been paid, except where the obligee has accepted the bond, in which case the bond becomes valid and enforceable irrespective of whether or not the premium has been paid by the obligor to the surety, provided that if the contract of surety ship or bond is not accepted by or filed with the obligee, the surety shall collect only a reasonable amount not exceeding 50% of the premium due thereon a service fee plus the cost of stamps or other taxes imposed for the issuance of the contract or bond. Provided, however, that if the non-acceptance of the bond be due to the fault or negligence of the surety, no such service fee, stamps, or taxes shall be collected. In the case of a continuing bond, the obligor shall pay the subsequent annual premium as it falls due until the contract of surety ship is cancelled by the obligee or by the commissioner or by a court of competent jurisdiction as the case may be. So, what about the payment of premium and bonds? As a general rule, payment of premium is a condition precedent for the validity of a surety contract or bond. Therefore, Unless and until the premium is paid, the contract of surety ship or bond is not valid. However, when a bond or contract is issued and accepted by the obligee or creditor, the same shall be considered valid and enforceable. The exception is intended to protect the interest of the creditor who has accepted the bond, the premium on which has not been paid. So, when does the surety entitled to service fee only? The surety shall be entitled only to a reasonable service fee in an amount not exceeding 50% of the premium due plus cost of stamps and other taxes on the issuance of bond or the contract when, number one, the contract of surety ship or bond is not accepted by the obligee, or two, when the contract of surety ship or bond is not filed with the obligee. However, if the non-acceptance is due to the negligence or fault of the surety, no service fee, stamps, or taxes can be collected. Let's go now to section 180. It provides that pertinent provisions of the Civil Code of the Philippines shall be applied in a supplementary character whenever necessary in interpreting the provisions of a contract of surety ship. This is Surety Ship, Sections 179 to 180. Section 179. The surety is entitled to the payment of the pre